Hello, I'm Rod, the storyteller. The story I have to tell you is not a fairy story. It's a true story, which we can read in the Bible in the Gospel of Luke chapter 2. It's a once upon a time story, actually, which might have gone something like this. Once upon a time, in a faraway place, there were some shepherds looking after their sheep in a field. It was night time, it was dark, there were stars in the sky but there was no moon and it was very peaceful. The sheep were all calm in their enclosure. The shepherds were sitting and lying on the grass around what was left of their fire, finding it very hard to stay awake actually because it was so peaceful. So calm, so relaxed. Suddenly, whoosh, without any warning, a bright light filled the whole area and they were terrified. Pandemonium broke out, the sheep were disturbed, the shepherds didn't know whether to run or hide or what to do. What on earth was going on? And then they realized that it was an angel. It was just an angel. Just an angel. We don't see angels very much, do we? And there the angel was with outspread wings and arms, trying to attract the attention of these frightened shepherds. Stop, stop. Don't go away. I've got some good news, some really, really good news for you. Gradually the shepherds realized that they weren't in danger. And so, still frightened, and looking up at this amazing sight in the sky, they listened to the angel who said, don't be afraid. I'm not going to harm you. I've got some good news for you. And the angel gave them the good news. Today, in the city of David, which is Bethlehem, just over that part of the world, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger, which is a trough that cows eat from. And then immediately the angel flew back up into heaven to meet all the hundreds and hundreds of other angels who were singing in one huge, wonderful choir, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth. It was goosebump astonishing. It was so amazing. Wow, what a sight. What a sound. I don't know about you, but all of this would have been almost more than I could bear. Blinding lights, awesome angels, special new baby. Whew. When everything had died down, the sheep back to sleep, all the angels gone, the sky clear and sprinkled with stars once more. The restless shepherds looked at each other and all wanted to speak at the same time. What was that all about? Were we dreaming? That's never happened to us before. Come on, let's go to Bethlehem and see for ourselves this thing that has happened. Caleb, Jacob, you stay and look after the sheep. Come on, the rest of you. And off they went. A very grumpy Caleb and Jacob plonked themselves down on the grass. They were missing the real excitement. But someone had to stay. Imagine if harm came to the sheep while they were away. Very cleverly, and I don't know how they did it, but they found where the baby had been born. There, just as they were told, were Mary and Joseph. In the feeding trough lay the baby, wrapped in cloths. They looked into the place. Mary saw them, and she invited them to have a look, these rough, tough men who had come in. But she didn't want them too close. Hello. Please come closer, she welcomed. My name is Mary and this is Joseph, my husband, and here is our baby. His name is Jesus. Yes, we know he is the Messiah. The angel told us. The angel told you, Mary asked. Yes, they answered. The angel, at first we were terrified, but he told us about the birth of the Saviour. Is he the one who will bring us closer to God? 
Then Joseph said, I was also visited by an angel. Maybe the same one. And he told us to call him Jesus because he would, he would make the way to God. We didn't know his name was Jesus. So this was really, really good news. Isn't he small? He's beautiful. He seems to be glowing. Is he the light? After kneeling and bowing and peering at the baby, the shepherds left rejoicing, glorifying God. They told the really, really good news to everyone they met along the way back to their sheep, just as they had been told. It's true. The Saviour has been born. Go and see for yourselves. Go to Bethlehem. Oh, wow, we can hardly believe it ourselves. But we went to see for ourselves. It's true. It's true. And so the story spread everywhere. And that's the wonderful story of Christmas. A big welcome to baby Jesus, a priceless gift from God, the Messiah, the way, the light, the saviour of the world. Happy 